just call her. Sounds fun. <laughs> so I looked up the Queen of Spades. It's like some um, Bloody Mary. But the thing is, is you need a mirror and then a Queen of Spades from a deck of cards. And you take the card and you place it against the mirror. You get red lipstick, draw a door, and then you say, Queen of Spades, show yourself three times. Queen of Spades, show yourself. Queen of Spades, show yourself. Queen of Spades, show yourself. Now what? Anna said you and the others played a joke on her. It's just a game that the boys wanted to scare us with. I've been marked, Anna. Sebastian, what exactly is going on here? Look at this, okay? He thinks the Queen of Spades is real. How do we get rid of her? It is a theory. Too dangerous. We can talk with her, but we can only ask her yes or no questions. Will you kill Katie? Me? Anna? There she is. There's no medical procedure for demonic possession. It's crazy, there has to be another way. You have to trust me. Dr. Christopher Dunch. Today we're going to be operating on Rose Keller, a patient presented with severe back pain diagnosed as a herniated disc. It is important we are in and out with as little fanfare as possible. So, mouth shut, ears open. Let's begin. Hey, doctor. I heard you came across some of Christopher Dunch's surgeries. Sir, there's a lot of bleeding. Focus on your job. How was the patient? Perfect. There's a hemorrhage here, you need to fix it. So there were no complications? I don't have complications. I can't make sense of this. It's like he knew what he was supposed to do. Then he did the exact opposite. I could have told you the guy was a hack. What did he do? Dorothy Burke walked in all on her own, and now she's brain dead. Today we will be minimally invasive. He turned him into a quadriplegic. Work ethic was second to none. Ooh, Ted Bundy was a good worker, too. We all make mistakes. But not you. No, man. Dunch has two deaths. Texas has executed people for less. All due respect, Dr. Kirby, you don't understand the law. You don't understand who we're after. Dunch is never going to stop on his own. You have to protect the public and suspend his license. My patients mean everything to me. And the longer I'm here, the longer they're in pain. Have you hurt these people? You saw what he did to them? I swear I will make sure this never happens to anyone else. If you take my license in Texas, there's an entire world out there. The system is broken. I have a suggestion. It's a bit extreme. He's either the most incompetent surgeon I've ever crossed paths with, or he's a sociopath. comes to symbols of the past, there are still a lot of people who ascribe extra natural powers to symbols. Sign of the cross, number 13. Luck symbols, bad luck symbols. At what point, though, do benign symbols become malignant? You're one of the sharpest students I've ever had. Raw intellect can only take you so far. Peter, I knew this was going to be life-threatening. I would have just gone to the library. Professor Langdon? I was expecting Peter. He asked me to let you know about an urgent situation. Hello? You will solve the great mystery. This is only the beginning. Peter will point the way. That's Peter's ring. As above, so below. Catherine, something's happened. It's your dad. He's been taken. I don't know exactly what's going on. 
I teach symbology. I expect you'll find the sun, a lantern, and a key. The hand of the mysteries. Did this person say what he wants? He wants me to locate an ancient portal buried within the capital and unlock it. How's your Latin? Not as good as my Arabic. Did you happen to put that key back? You mean this? No, no one told me to put it back. Come on, hey, Dan! Oh! You didn't think it was gonna be that easy, did you? There's a purpose to everything he's done. Walter wants to be deceived. So let it be deceived. This is only the beginning. No, it's fine. I'll take care of it in the morning. You get out of there and you go home. I'm just trying to move forward now. It helps to talk with someone. Can't tell anybody what you said under penalty of law. You know, if you like, you and I could work together maybe to help you not feel like this anymore. Nothing really happened. Is Beth blaming herself for this? It could have been much worse. He could have finished what he started. I hope we did not keep you away. Marsha. Nice to meet you. I need to make it rain. I need to make it storm. Nick's wife is a fantastic cook. Marsha, I'm just supposed to meet my attorney for dinner. Isn't it a little weird for a therapist to show up at a client's house? The mom. Marsha is Beth's therapist. Should be no conflict. You don't think there's something off about her? I have the perfect therapy. I would never do something like that, OK? You have to believe me. Oh. Appears to be a revenge attack. She just needs to know that you're there for her. Somehow you think that this is my fault? It's possible that she made someone angry. Detective, am I a suspect? All any of us wants is to get you some support. And ever since I started talking to you, things just seem to get worse. She's not who she says she is. My job is to put them out of their suffering. <laughs> Ingratitude. Leave me alone. Disrespect. <laughs> Miss you at all. Hi, John. I ran into some problems on my way to the airport, and I missed my flight. Airports, don't you? Who are you? Tessel Texter. You seem curious about things. You look like a businessman. Look around. This is my world. Angus, tell me, have you ever killed anyone? I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes and visualize the story I'm about to tell you. Have we met before? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't think so. It was like total perfection. Why are you doing this? Because I feel like it. A lie always needs to be repeated more than the truth to be believed. <laughs> I've been looking for you. Tell me what you know. <laughs> What's the problem? I found this dog. What is this whole game about? You think this is a game? What do you want from me? Perfection is achieved not when there is nothing more to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. So, what's going on with the project? Hello, it's me, Emily Sparks, coming to you from Earth. There's a reason why you're not the most liked girl at school. <laughs> I just don't want to crush Christopher's dreams of communicating with aliens. Emily, we are so close to communicating with whatever is out there. Can you imagine what it's going to be like when it finally happens? It's going to be lit. <laughs> Will he let us in? 
It happened in this town over 50 years ago, when there was only one eyewitness. Frederick Munch. You mean me, Mr. Munch? His house is totally haunted. The Black Eyed Kids. It's their harvest in time. So why do they ask you that question? To let them in? Because they have to. They need permission. For whatever you do, never say yes. Sweetheart, the police will take care of it. Please! I want you to stay put. You guys don't understand. They're not a human. You don't know how they think. No, 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 no. You think you'll get out alive? I have a few days' work for you if you're interested. Doing what? Babysitting. My brother died last year. He had a daughter, Olga. She keeps going out to the house where he died. The place is in the middle of nowhere, and I don't like the idea of her being out there on her own. So 200 a day. She has to go to the house and keep her company. That's it. There's got to be more to it than that. You didn't say anything about the house being on an island. Come on. What's the big deal? Does anyone know you're here? Barrett said he killed himself. In the basement. Is there someone down there? Are you going to tell anyone what I asked you to do? She was mad. I wouldn't do something like this. Do you think he's gonna let you leave her? You really made a mess of this. We've studied our space more than the Earth. What happened? Where are the others? Everything is just like in a regular shaft. But later on, you'll see what we actually created here. Need a ride? As far as I can. Pop it.
This is what you said to me. A group of serial killers attending a 12-step meeting tried to kill me and my accomplice before disappearing, leaving us with three dead bodies? No, two dead bodies. It's one word, right? Bullshit. Um, sorry to interrupt your meeting. Thanks so much for coming out. How do you maintain your lifestyle and keep your urges under control? I murdered the same victim repeatedly. Just give me a mask. Have you ever bitten into a kidney? What is this, some kind of support group for serial killers? Why are you here? It's complicated. I thought you had our little group sessions on lockdown. Are you a uh, skinner? A slicer dicer or a corpse humper? How did you get in here? I, I got drunk at the bar. I passed out in a closet for a few hours, okay? 911. Yes. Oh my god, it's horrible. Now Bonnie told me that people are coming here to try and kill him. It may be us. What? Us? Why? <laughs> Tell me! Quarter! It got really messy. I like it messy sometimes. <laughs> Smack in the face. I'm like a coiled snake. Gentlemen, we are about to have a lot of fun tonight. Hey, I didn't even gag. 